Hello viewers. It's Bunch Natural once again coming your way. As you know that Bunch Natural is all about uh, traveling places, meeting people, promoting nature, humanity and the physical world. And today I am visiting Smart Conserva. Tell us something more about Smart Conserva and what Smart Conserva represents. Her ideology and why she's doing what she's doing for the benefit of mankind. And to, you know, lecture us and tell us what we definitely have to know for our benefit in our various homes. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. <laughs> All right. Um, I would want to say this. Just um, give us a um, brief illustration, instantiate what Smart Conserva is all about. Smart Conserva is all about conservation. Conservation of your electricity, water, and even your money. That's the basic part of Smart Conserva. I think um, the viewers, if you are listening, she has a channel in bracket, in quote, Smart Conserva. As soon as you put in I mean, YouTube or Google, Smart Conserva, definitely they're going to see you. Yes. All right, because um, the interview we are having here is going to be brief. But if you want to know more, I would advise you, I will ask you just to go to her channel and see a whole lot of things that you tend to know. That will definitely gonna help you in terms of um, your utility bills, your electricity bills, the smart ways, you know, to make sure that you bring your electricity bills down. There are so many things you're gonna learn of which I'm not I'm not be able to say right here. So tell us, what prompted you? What's your ideology? What do you think that gave you the notion to say, let me go on and do this? To start a YouTube channel? Not about your ideology. Okay. Um, from, I don't like paying regular bills. I hate it. I hate giving people my money regularly. Right. So I decided that I wanted to do everything possible in my power to conserve and a part of that conservation had meant that I wanted to be totally self-reliant on what was what is provided to us which is the sun yeah. and whatever else it is that I can use to conserve hence I decided to conserve and I realized that a part of it would also mean using solar that's great. I think um, uh, nobody, everybody, as long as you are a human being, in terms of um, utility bills, electricity bills, and all the bees, 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 bees around us, everybody would like to make some, some cuts. That's true. Yeah, your yeah, ideology, a lot of people would like to buy that, and a lot of people will already be practicing that also, but they need more kind of um, innovations, inventions. And that's, I think, your channel is trying to point out. Right. And understand, to guide people and to hit them, give them more hints on what to do at every point. In and how to do it. And how to do it. That's true. All right. That's, that's great. That's great. Um, what advice would you give to people who might wish to tap from your idea, basically? in line with what your channel represents. What information we wish to do what? The ideas you would like to give, like some people listening to us now, uh -huh. they would like to search for your channel. And if they key into that, what do you think they're gonna dig out? What they're gonna take out from okay. listening, hearing from you? The number one thing, which I always say to persons on my channel, they should not make conservation a burden. So 
conservation, if you apply whatever it is, will come naturally. Yeah. And it will not be something that you have to really think about. Am I conserving? Am I doing it right? Once you do what you're supposed to do, follow the, the tips, follow the guidelines, follow what I do, then it will come naturally. And it will be like a reflex. It will be just like eating. You know that you're hungry, yeah, yeah. you get something to eat. So it will be a natural thing once you start. All right, why I ask that question? Because when people hear the word smart conserver, mm -hmm. if you're conversant with um, English language, if you are you know, really conversant with English, what I mean that if you know English language, you can read, you can write, you, your mind will definitely channel to conservation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the word conserve is to preserve, right? That's right. So, you can't just preserve what you know nothing about. <laughs> That's yes. true. So, what are the techniques? What are things people have to have in mind in their front burner if they want to move into conservation in terms of electricity? I can say for me now, solar will come in there. Right. And there are other ways known or known to us all over the world. People tend to extend their intellectual ability in order to have power source in their various homes. Mm -hmm. But um, to cut our views, let's look into um, let's look into solar. What are the techniques? What are um, you know kind of um, appliances and uh, techniques? What somebody could be able to say if somebody is planning to put their solar in their house? What are the first steps? First thing first, they need to. The first thing first yeah. is conservation. It comes right back to conservation. conservation. Right. Because putting solar in our homes, we can't put solar there if we have inefficiencies. So therefore, we have to eliminate all of the inefficiencies. And yeah. to eliminate them, conservation is key. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we have to cut, reduce, and at times, it might mean reusing. Sorry, when you use the word cut, reduce. we need to like cut. Cutting. Right. So you, 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 you cut, you're trying to cut some of your bad habits that you have. That's in terms of consumption. Well, we, we have bad habits. Like? So, like we're using our, our cell phones, we're charging it, okay. and we leave it plugged in. Okay. And we have the cell phone walking around with, okay. while the, the adapter, the plug, is in. So right there, we need to cut out phantom electricity. Okay, that's automatic. So we cut. Cut off, that's right. off automatically. Right. Or pull it out. Right. So we reduce. We reduce the amount of power that we use. And one way we can reduce is, say for instance, you have a, you have a blender. Okay. And that blender is 1,200 watts. And that blender goes bad. We can reduce the amount of power that we get in the other blender that we buy. Probably we might buy an 850 watt. So we we'll reduce right there. All right. And in terms of reuse, we can reuse some of the things that we have. And in, in reuse, it's especially useful in water, where we might reuse the water that is coming from the kitchen. Okay. We use the water that is coming from our washing machines. Use them in other places, probably plants, in the garden. All right, I think um, what you are saying now is um, in terms of uh, people's um, cultural behavior. You know, some people tend to, when they waste a lot of things, they don't even know that they are wasting. Sometimes you see some people, they don't have the habit that whenever you are moving out from your house, definitely you have to shut down some for electrical appliances that will consume more power before you come back. You understand? Okay, you are trying to point out all these things in order to let people know that definitely these are the ways to help themselves. If they cultivate and imbibe the culture of doing these things. All right. Um, how long have you been pushing 
the snowball on, on regarding smart conserver online. How long has, do you think it has been in existence now? Um, it's going near three years. Three years, so? Right, from 2020. 2020. Right. Oh. So, what do you think are the people's responses regarding that, your idea, what you are doing? I'm getting the response, however, I'm getting the response more from persons who know me, right? So, um, yeah, the response is more from persons who know me, persons who are on the net or who are watching the channel tend to be a bit shy in asking questions. I know they have the questions, but they're a bit shy in asking. Questions? Right. Questions like, um, because probably what might work for me might not work for them because their situation might be a bit different. Yeah. So they, I think they're kind of afraid to push those questions out in the comment box, fearing that they might not get the response that they anticipate. However, they can be rest assured no question is stupid. Yeah. All questions will be answered and your question will benefit another person. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to... <laughs> go through this channel, I mean channel, what's ringing in my mind. I know most people, not all everybody live in the city. Mm -hmm. Across board, like in African countries and some people who are into different form of businesses or the other, especially people that are into agricultural products, they tend to extend their hands far away from the city to the, the location where power source is not common. Like in Africa, most of these people tend to look for generators, electric generators that can give them power supply. And then for their agriculture? Products. Yeah, okay. People, for their farming. Especially people who are into mechanized system of farming. Right. And uh, some of them tend to over there they need something to preserve their products like refrigerators and uh, some machines these people i know they need constant power supply mm -hmm. but because they are far away from the city there is no power there mm -hmm. i am saying this in reference with what you are doing right. i think if they keep in listening to you follow you consistently i think they're going to have an idea how to generate power supply for themselves right they would you understand because i i try to ask a similar question initially before now, apart from solar, any other ideas you know people can generate power supply to serve them in their various places, either home, working place, their farms, or whatever, apart from solar, because in global world, you people tend to say solar, solar, solar. Apart from conventional electricity we use from power companies, solar is the next plan of action. After solar, is there any other means of generating power, electricity? Yes, um, even in terms of the, the farm, yes, if, if the solar is not there, then you can use the wind turbine. Some persons I have seen make use of the pressure that is coming from a water flow to generate this form of electricity. So there are other That's means that right there are other means however the means that is available to me is what i tend to push out so for me i would have the benefit of the breeze or the, the wind right and i also have the benefit of the sun all right all right yes we're gonna come back after a brief break This is Punch Natural. Visiting places, people, promoting nature, humanity, and physical world. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, comment on the comment section below. You are welcome. Welcome back viewers, 
it's burnt natural once again. So, if I may say now, how can somebody reach you? The easiest way to reach you is it by your channel, phone call, email. There are different social media platforms anyway. Alright, we're on TikTok. Okay. We're on right, we're on Instagram. Right. And once you leave a comment in the YouTube on the YouTube channel, I'll get back to you. As well as there's an email address that is on the YouTube channel. Alright. And when you say TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all of them have a one address. One yes. Yes, one. Just the name Smart Conserver. Just the name Smart. Put it in there. Just the name Smart Conserver. That's it. All right. Well, um, from my own perspective, I think uh, once you have Smart Conserver on your fingertips, on your keyboard, or on your phone, as long as you smart it and on YouTube, you're gonna see her. Then from there, drop your comment on comment section below. She's gonna definitely get back to you. Then you can go at length using other platforms that she has already mentioned. So, um, how do you see, or let me say, you're optimistic that in the next few years coming, mm -hmm. where do you think Smart Conserva is going to be? Basically, on the responses you are getting. I think at some point, this thing is going to explode. Um, with the advent of technology, Smart Conserva has to move with the advent of technology. Right. So therefore, anything new that comes in that assists with conservation, then I'm going to try it. And once I try it, I will give my opinion of it out there. And if it's very useful, then I'll continue to push it. So I, I see it expanding probably, probably beyond my, my capacity where I, probably I can't even manage the amount, the volume of, of calls or notifications I'm going to get from people, responses and comments, but let's move with it in the interim. So basically from your explanations, that means you have a big dream on what you are doing and the consistency is the key. The same thing is applicable for anybody who has a vision, has a dream in doing whatever thing you are doing. Consistency is the key and you have to put in mind the line, this is where I'm going to be in years coming and basically as long as you work hard you put your efforts do all necessary things you need to do you're gonna be there so what advice do you think you're gonna give people who are maybe trying to portray maybe in different angle what you are doing do you have any advice for them start small because that's how i started yeah. start small and there's a vlog on my my channel which i speak to yeah. move incrementally you can't start at once it's just like like walking you have to start creeping first so start small you'll get there eventually to the point where you're comfortable and satisfied that this is this is your way to conserve this is your way to go solar and you'll get there all right, uh, across board, um, in some of our African brothers and sisters who are entrepreneurs in different forms or shapes, basically, who has, I, think, I know you have some um, audience, some people from Africa across board who comment on your channel, right? Yes. All right, and uh, there are some areas that um, some people Need, really need ideas, ideologies, things, the idea that you are portraying across board. I think, uh, what do you think you have to tell them in terms of creation in line with solar or try to champion the ideology of smart conserver? I am, while I might not be aware as to what is available in those different countries, yeah. I try to get information from my subscribers. So I know I have subscribers in Africa. I have subscribers in Brazil and other, other countries. India, I have subscribers as far as India currently. However, 
it is to try and get the information from them as to what is available in their country because some of the things in my country might not be available in theirs so it might mean me trying additional things to get solar to them or trying additional things to tell them how they can get this in their area but i just need the information once i get the information i'm fine and the information is the key exactly information is the key because um before you start doing anything first and foremost you, 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 you want some information to start with because that would be a kind of touchlight to say this is where i'm going that that's before true you, you need help i i have i've had that experience where there is a technology that i have seen not seen a technology that i've read about and i've found a particular country where it is available and i'm at this point now i'm trying to get the information i've already created a vlog about it however getting the information will make me decide whether or not it is something that would work for me um like i said other countries have it I've been trying to brainstorm with some of my subscribers as to send me pictures, tell me about it, tell me how it works for you in order to make an informed decision if it will work for us here in my country or others. So there are things that I'm picking some of my subscribers to get information about. I'm not there yet with some of them, but because there is a communication barrier with some of them because they speak a different language from what I speak so I have to be translating so it takes a little while to get the information at times Alright, do you think you have any challenges in what you are doing? In promoting mm -hmm. smart conserver because I know when this brand get to the standard, get to the peak I think the entire globe is going to enjoy because it's an ideology, an initiative you are putting across. My, you have a challenge. Yes, my, my major challenge is finding some of the things to use myself. Like I say, most of the things that I'm pushing on the, the channel yeah. is things that I can speak about personally, okay. things that I've been doing personally. So if I'm doing a DIY task, it's things that I have done. Now things that I've seen done, things that I've done, things that I have hands-on knowledge about, things that I make decisions about. So if it was the decision of going solar, I explained all of that to the, the subscribers and the viewers. What made me choose this type of solar over the other types of solar? So it's things that are personal to me. Um, the, the, the thing is, I would love to get more, more information or more things to our devices to check however if I if on researching those devices I honestly don't see it would work for me then I will just mention it to my subscribers and viewers and at that point I will tell them I've not tried it so therefore that personal that personal experience will not be there for them so my challenge is getting more of the devices that I want to try and getting them out there to my viewers and subscribers. Do you think you have a, you have a partner and do what you are doing? If I have a? A partner? Or you have a company that you're promoting their products? No. No, I don't. I don't, I don't I know. Company are promoting their products. No, I don't have any company that I'm promoting their products. I no all right so I every everything that i have done for my channel is yeah. based on what i've read what i've thought about okay, and it? then explored right. it so i can put it if you are listening i can say it this way you are mentoring exactly you are teaching people just digging up bringing ideas making researches bringing ideas right then passing them across to the people to mentor them right how they can conserve that's right. In the various rooms, in terms of power supply, utility, whatever. Exactly. That's I, exactly what Smart Conserver represents. 
So, do you think you have anything to tell viewers, people all over the world listening, in respect to what you are doing? Yes. Just to sum it up. Please, don't let conservation be a burden. Live your life. And in the interim, if you live it by, by applying what you learn, just, just listen to the channel. Once you listen to the channel, you'll see that there are things that you can adapt, things that you can use, things that you can make just to conserve your money. And with all of that, be mindful that we have an earth to preserve and the preservation of it might mean you need to do things. All right, viewers, at the moment, we're going to drop down the curtain for the day. And this is Punch Natural. And uh, I just want to use this opportunity also to talk to some entrepreneurs. If you feel that your voice is tiny and you have nobody has been hearing your voices, and you want to you want people to hear your voice on what you are doing, no matter how little, how big it might be, the platform is also for you. All you need to do is to just hit me and make a request. I'm gonna plan it out. I'm gonna to come to you. This is Smart Conserver. Please listen to her, learn from her, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment. Because I know that as long as we are learning on a daily basis, our life can never be the same. That's true. Because the only thing I find out in this life that is constant is change. You understand? So we have to work hard to make our life more better and to make our world better as well. Thank you and see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to One Natural. Like, share, and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos coming your way. Have a nice day and bye for now.